Welcome to Dank GH YouTube channel, your reliable UK NMC CBT learning platform. Kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to get video updates. Today's video will delve into common acronyms or abbreviations you need to know before you take your CBT exams. 1. CBT. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. In relation to your nursing and midwifery practice, this is a talking therapy that helps you analyze and change negative thoughts and gives you better coping strategies. This is helpful for people with psychological trauma, depression, phobias, etc. 2. TNA. Trainee Nurse Associate. This is a role in the NHS which was introduced to bridge the gap between support workers and registered nurses. As a TNA, you will undergo a two-year program which combines classroom and healthcare-based setting teaching. You will become a member on UKNMC Register as a Nurse Associate and progress to the role of Registered Nurse by undertaking further training. 3. PGD. Patient Group Direction. This is a legal framework that allows certain healthcare professionals to prescribe and administer medication to patient without the authorization of a doctor or prescriber. Example of professional that can use PGD is a nurse, midwife, dietitian, radiographer, etc. 4. PDSA. Plan, Do, Study, Act. This is a framework for developing and implementing changes by testing it on small scale before implementing on a larger scale. You first plan what is intended, do what you have planned, study how well it goes and act on the needed changes that needs to be done before moving to larger scale. 5. SWOT. Strength, Weakness, Opportunity, Threats. This is a tool for analyzing how your organization or project is doing and ways to plan for the future against competition from others using these four key areas. 6. SBAR. Situation, Background, Assessment, Recommendation. This is a structured form of communication for transferring information to another team about a patient. The situation is what is the problem at hand, background relates to brief history, Assessment involves what you think the problem is and what you have done. Recommendation is what you want the team to do for the patient. 7. Doles. Deprivation of Liberty Safeguards. This is a component of Mental Capacity Act that ensures patients are cared for without limiting their freedoms and in cases where such freedoms can be restricted, appropriate authorization has been sought. 8. DNR. Do not resuscitate. This is medical standing order which instructs healthcare professionals not to do cardiopulmonary resuscitation on a patient when their breathing stops or heart stops beating. 9. MRSA. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. This is a bacterial infection which occurs mostly among people staying in hospitals and care homes. 10. BNF. British National Formulary. This is a reference book on medications and guidance for professionals when using them. 11. GPRD. General Data Protection Regulations. This is a policy that protects individuals' privacy, use of their personal data, and ensures organizations handle personal data responsibly. 12. ANTT. Aseptic Non-Touch Technique. This is the avoidance of contamination by not touching key areas and sterile surfaces when doing clinical invasive procedure. 13. News 2. National Early Warning Score 2. This is a system developed to identify risk of deterioration in patients' health. It is based on scoring patients' physiological measurements or vital signs. 14. MUST. Malnutrition Universal Screening Tool. This is a screening tool to identify obesity, malnutrition and people at risk of malnutrition in adults. A score of 0 indicates low risk, 1 indicates medium risk and 2 or more indicates high risk. 15. ACVPU. Alert, confusion, verbal, pain, unresponsive. This is a neurological assessment tool used to assess patients' level of consciousness. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, comment and subscribe to support the channel.